Hi, this is Ralph Turciano. It is the 4th of April, 2016. I'm here to present to you the top three health headlines of the past week, starting off with number one. Japan is not the only country worrying about population decline getting used to two-speed world, meaning industrialized nations look like they're heading towards, or should say are having problems with population replenishment, potentially leading to population collapse. In their case, they actually use the word population extinction for certain countries. Let's get into the research. Japan has been worrying for a while about whether its population may one day become extinct. Their words, not mine. In 2006, the Japanese National Institute of Population Social Security Research predicted by the end of the present century, the population would decline to 50 million, falling further to 10 million by the end of the next. And if you follow the graph down to its initial conclusion, Six to two people by the year 3000. And of course, it seems to be happening a large part of the industrialized world on top of that. Take from it what you may. Number two, large whey protein breakfast may help manage type two diabetes. Doesn't sound like the most exciting title, but the results are pretty darn good. They took a group of individuals, type two diabetics, fed them varying diets, whether it be through egg, tuna, and whey, so to say. And interesting enough, the whey protein uh, with the type 2 diabetics had incredible results actually after 12 weeks. The whey protein group lost 16.7 pounds, which was the star of the research compared to either other high protein forms. So something to think about if looking to maintain weight and a type 2 diabetic. Number three, kind of controversial. It's a film that was questioning the safety of certain vaccines, which I understand the arguments on both sides of the aisle. However, though, if what they are saying is not correct, why not just bring them to court and sue them for liable disparagement, whatever attorneys do? I mean, Oprah said a few bad things about meat, and look what happened to her. But let's follow the film um, line, so to say. The film was supposed to be about a whistleblower at the CDC called Dr. William Thompson, who admitted to taking part in massive scientific fraud to conceal the truth about vaccines causing autism. Again, an argument I don't even want to touch. It's about the film being... Uh, pulled from Tribeca, I want to focus on. De Niro was given numerous assurances by Congressman Posey that the CDC whistleblower Dr. William Thompson really did confess to taking part in massive scientific fraud to conceal the links between vaccines and autism. It's kind of funny, if you look at the Guardian right here, they said alleged worker for the CDC. No, he worked for the CDC. And then they pulled him, they pulled the film. And according to the foreign press, which was kind of making fun of this uh, because it didn't exactly represent freedom of the press, they said, this is the first time in history of film that in the media that a total that the totality of the media establishment has condemned a film that none of them have ever viewed. Desperately trying to make sure no American ever witnessed the hour and a half film of uh, film footage. Quote from the Macedonian press. However, though it did get some playing now in smaller theaters, and so on and so forth. There is so much bad mojo around this measles and autism vaccine thing. If you look at, for example, the original CDC researcher who basically ran the, the studies, uh, he's now an international criminal. Doesn't mean the data from the, the study was that uh, done correctly, but there's a lot of bad things about what went, what went on around the study where it may want to take a second look in regard to who did what and to whom. If this is true, the, that there was fraud, then you know what? Just do another study or sue these people for liable disparagement or whatever attorneys do. Again, this is Ralph Turciano. It is the 4th of April, 2016. And thank you very much for listening. Catch you in seven days. Bye.